I'm going to talk now about some traditional Japanese boxes. These are small Japanese boxes where uh, they call them secret boxes or trick boxes, where you need to to shift a little bit some parts and move them in a sequential way to eventually have them completely opened. For example, the one I'm using right now is a tiny one and has 12 moves and eventually it opens. But they can be small ones, they can be medium ones, they can be some nice with uh, some engravement where you can actually feel the quality and the work put inside on those inside and outside you can actually feel the difference of level there can be some big ones like this one which has 42 moves I'm not going to solve it now some very impressive ones like this one, the secret base where has some secret mechanism Actually, there is more into that, but I'm not going to show you because uh, it's not, there is no point showing you the hard part. I'll just show you the easy part. The quality is fantastic of those um, boxes. They can have a triangular shape, or they can have um, pentagonal shape. Um, some of them are made by very uh, famous designers like Akio Kamei. As you can see, I'm working on that. I'm still not. I'm finished with this one. This one I'm also working on it. I'm not sure how this opens. I'm going to play with it in a while. Some of them they, they open in a strange way, like um, you have to hit them. I'm not sure if this is going to open now, but yep. So you can see this is a hitbox. It opens with. So now it's back. It's not opening anymore. Other ones have some other interesting mechanisms. So you need to do a rotation, some sort of uh, um, synchronized rotation. Anyway, um, the other ones which look um, like they're not puzzles, like this one, for example. This looks more like a twisty puzzle, but uh, there is ways to open this one by moving the... Um, I don't remember which was the start for this one. Anyway, we need to move some blocks and then the middle block will open. Some of them are very easy, like this one. It doesn't open until you turn it and then it opens. It has a very interesting mechanism. This is based on some uh, real life um, box which is huge. Anyway, just putting it back. Well, some others look like houses. So, for example, this one you need to move the chimney, the door, some part, and slowly, slowly, this part here, this part here, and slowly, slowly it opens. There's some really good quality wood as well. Well, some of those boxes are not made in Japan. For example, there's this lovely design here, where you need to find a way how to open the cheesecake using the those uh, weird spoon and fork. Anyway, well, that thing actually made me hungry, so I need to go. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed it.